Hey guys! Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. This is Judy, and I'm excited to have you here today to talk about something a little bit different on my channel. Although, I've done stuff similar to this. I feel like I say that a lot, but I have done a candle review in the past. It's one of my top, top <laughs> viewed videos ever. It's not. And so, based on that, I decided to do another candle review. Now, mostly, I've been very interested in a candle that I've seen pop up on social media. It's popped up all over the internet, and it is the Gwyneth Paltrow candle from her company, Goop. <laughs> so, the candle itself, I'm gonna have to censor the name at least when I speak out loud just to, you know, keep YouTube happy. But the candle is, smells like my kitty. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do the math and work out in your head, pull out your calculators and figure out how that adds up, what I really mean there, read between the lines. Gwyneth Paltrow's Smells Like My Kitty candle. <laughs> I bought one, I'm gonna review it. I am not by any means an expert on what kitties smell like. I have a dog and I just want to give you my, my pure thoughts <laughs> about this candle. Now, before I get into that, I just want to touch briefly on this brand, Goop, that Gwyneth Paltrow runs. Goop is a modern lifestyle brand. Now, this is a brand that has a website. You can go visit it. The website itself has blogs that focus on like travel, wellness, beauty, style, general lifestyle things. And it also has things you can buy. Primarily, it seems like there's a lot of like general lifestyle types of things like clothing, accessories, shoes. Uh, they have some beauty products, they have books, and then they also have a general category of wellness. Now, I want to say in doing this video, this is not me wholeheartedly endorsing Goop as a brand. I think one thing that you'll find out in some of like the brief background I'm about to give you is that Goop has been involved in some scandals, I guess. It focuses a lot on natural and healing products. They have faced a lot of criticism for that. In particular, one of the first things that they were widely criticized for was an article that they wrote. It was called Better Sex Jade Eggs for Your Yanni. So allegedly, according to this article, these jade eggs were supposedly an ancient guarded secret of Chinese royalty that had the power to cleanse and clear, making them ideal for detox too. And the article claimed that if you put the egg in your kitty for hours at a time, that it would improve various aspects of your life, um, including your menstrual cycle and other um, feminine energy. They also conveniently were selling these jade eggs to people with the premise that it would help your health. They were also sued by folks because they didn't have any medical information to back up that these jade eggs were, would actually do anything. And they were selling them for like stupid amounts of money. So now Goop can no longer advertise them as being a part of like your general health and wellness routine. <laughs> and they just sell these jade eggs. I did look to see if those were still available online. I didn't see them on the Goop website, but they did have to stop selling it under the premise that it would help with people's health. Gwyneth Paltrow also has a Netflix series now called The Goop Lab. My understanding and the premise of this show is that her staff goes and investigates different types of natural healing and they experiment with things that are maybe not a part of like Western medicine and Western wellness. In the first episode, which I admittedly only watched maybe the first 15 minutes of, she sends some of her staffers to Jamaica to investigate psychedelics. <laughs> and in this video, the one of the first things they do when they're in Jamaica is they sit in a healing circle and there's this old white woman who talks to them about the psychedelics. And specifically, she talks a lot about how the indigenous people use psychedelics as a means for healing physical illness, right? And she says 
something along the lines of the indigenous people don't understand why all these westerners are coming in and wanting to heal themselves uh, with divine spiritual energy through psychedelics because they actually use <laughs> the products to heal themselves physically. And she talks a lot about how like they don't understand that that Western illness is not being able to disconnect from the material world. I was like, I gotta stop here because this feels like a lot of appropriation of Eastern medicines, of medicines of people of color <laughs> and things like that. And it seems like this white woman is just coming in and utilizing all of these medicines that people of color have been using for a long time to make a lot of money. So I just want to say that's my opinion and I don't necessarily like want to 100% endorse Goop, but when you sell a candle that says smells like my kitty, you know, I'm intrigued. I gotta, I gotta find out. So I did buy one. It was about $75 on her website, if you can believe it. Now, they originally went on sale like a month, maybe a month or two ago, and they sold out very quickly. An old supervisor of mine named Paul posted on social media saying like, oh my God, they're restocked. And I said, well, we gotta do it. We, we surely do. So I put in an order, I placed it, and now we're gonna, we're gonna get down to the review to see how this goes. So it came in a regular white, like packaging box, but then it came in this, like wrapped up inside of the box. This is like some interesting wrapping. I just felt like I should show y'all cause like I've never seen anything packaged in this like netting before. <laughs> so that's, that's that. I don't know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be so intrigued by basic packaging materials. And then this is what the box looks like. So take a look. It looks to just have some kind of a plant. Is that a lily? I don't really, I'm not really into plants like that. You can see here it says heretic and then it says this smells like my kitty. And then it says bougie parfumé. <laughs> I'm probably not saying that right at all. You know who's not bougie? This guy right here. So I do want to say I am doing some research for this video. I watched some interviews with Gwyneth Paltrow and she said that the name is really just a joke and it's not actually intended to smell like her kitty. So there's that. <laughs> I feel cheated, I feel robbed. I only found out about that after I'd already purchased it. So like Gwyneth, my sis, girl, ma'am, brother, father, child, daughter, father, sister, auntie, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? She said, it's not supposed to smell like that, actually. I just thought it smelled beautiful and I thought it was funny. And she said, it's a little punk rock. Like, girl, ain't nothing you do, Gwyneth Paltrow. Ain't none of that punk rock. <laughs> so I was hoping that this would have the notes on it. So let me quickly look up what the actual Goop website says this is supposed to smell like. So the Goop website describes their candle as this. With a funny, gorgeous, sexy, and beautifully unexpected scent, this candle is made with geranium, citrusy bergamot, and cedar absolutes juxtaposed <laughs> with a damask rose and ambrette seed to put us in mind of fantasy, seduction, and sophisticated warmth. You know, when I think about kittens and kitties, that, that's what comes to mind. Bergamot. I love, I love that word. Just to be clear, bergamot. I just think it's so funny, but sophisticated warmth. That's how, that's how I like my kitty to smell. If you don't watch a lot of candle reviewers on the YouTube, they look for a number of different things. They want to know what the cold sniff smells like. And by cold sniff, that means right now without the candle lit at all, what what do I smell? They want to know how it smells when it's actually burning. And to go along with that, they want to know about the throw. And how I think about what that means is like, how far is the scent thrown? Like, can I have this in my living room and smell it in my YouTube studio? Or can I only smell it in this room if it's actually burning in this room? They also have a lot of particulars about like how well does it burn? Does it burn straight down? Does it well up on the side? You know, sometimes when you burn candles, 
and it like all of the wax builds up on the side because it doesn't have an even burn. It doesn't burn all the way down. They want to know that. We're not going to be able to investigate that in this particular video, but maybe at some point down the road I can give you an update <laughs> on if I if I make it that far. So this this is what the candle looks like outside of the box. You can take a look there. This is what the bottom looks like. You know, it's the packaging itself is kind of boring. It's kind of sad. For $75, I would have loved to see like this pattern on this jar. Now the packaging does matter to a lot of people who review candles, who collect candles. And this is just a pretty basic candle jar. Like, you know, if you go to Bath and Body Works, you're gonna get fancy. You're gonna get accoutrement. You're gonna get ambiance. You're gonna get aesthetic. This is just a plain <laughs> black candle jar. I also am curious what this is made out of because that's another thing like, you know, is it vegan? If it's made out of beeswax, then it's not. <laughs> if it's made out of honey, it's not. But if it's made out of soy, it is. But I don't see anything. It, it doesn't seem to say, it doesn't seem to say anything down below about what it's made out of. Does the website say anything? It surely doesn't. I feel cheated. I need to know, Gwyneth, what's it made out of? I'm gonna go ahead and take a waft and see what the cold sniff is like. It does have a strong cold sniff. It's very florally, you know. It, it makes sense that there's geranium in there. I actually don't know what bergamot is supposed to smell like, but I can maybe smell some like touches of cedar, <laughs> maybe just some slight touches. Hmm. You know, this is putting me in the mind of fantasy, of seduction, of sophisticated warmth. <laughs> I don't normally pick smells like this for my apartment, but it would be a nice change of pace. You know, normally when I think about like florally scents, I think about like grandmas and old ladies, but this is like subtle enough that I hope that my apartment won't smell like I'm 60 and a woman. <laughs> but, it, but you know, if it did make you think of women, that's fine, cause it smells like my kitty. All right, we're gonna we're gonna light it. All right, so we got a little light here. I don't know really how long I need to wait for it to burn, but I'm gonna put it out into my living room and see what kind of smell I get here in the studio. Now I'm gonna be honest, my olfactory sense is not great. <laughs> Sometimes I can't smell things unless it's like a super strong smell. I don't know. It's like something that a number of people have issues with in my family. I remember growing up, my, my grandma could never really smell things super well. And I relate. I relate to that very strongly. Like sometimes if it's not directly under my nose, I can't smell what's going on. So give me a second and I'm just going to try to like waft the smell from the living room into here because I want to see how strong the throw is. Judy, Judy is over here sniffing. She's like, where is that cat? Where is that kitty? Have you found it? Judy, come here. Come here, you gotta give your opinion. Give your opinion, do you smell it? Do you smell the kitty? She's, do you see her looking? She's like, where is it? Where is that kitty? Where's the kitty? <laughs> what do you think, Jude? Will you go find it? Go find the kitty? <laughs> so I don't know if it's because the candle was right here, but I do feel like I can kind of smell it from the living room. So that's impressive, but I'm gonna go walk into the living room, 
see what it smells like when I walk into the living room because that's important and then I'll bring the candle back with me and I'll kind of like give you my wrap up thoughts here. Okay, so I do have to say I think the, the cold sniff is much stronger than the smell of the candle once it's actually lit. But, however, I think this is a great scent for the springtime. You know, it's very florally. It's very, like, open up your windows and smell the world. Maybe not Chicago, but, you know, if I was living out in the countryside, like, this would be a great scent. So it kind of takes me back there, you know? It kind of takes me there. I, overall, think it's an okay candle. Would I encourage you to spend $75 on it? Probably not. Does, is this what I imagine when I imagine kitties? Not necessarily, but again, I'm not an <laughs> expert. So overall, I, I would say it's an okay candle, but you could probably get some like Bath and Body Works nonsense for not $75. And it would, it would smell great, you know? Like, I don't know what makes this a $75 candle outside of it being associated with Gwyneth Paltrow's kitty, but it's a candle nonetheless. <laughs> it surely is. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, it's your first video on my channel. Make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I go live or I post a new video. Also, leave me some comments down below and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. I had a whole lot of fun with you all today. Please follow me on all my social media, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!